This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this uh, 2022 Bullet Extra Light by Keystone. The model number is 250 BHS. So I'm just going to go over some of the features and how they work, okay? You have power stabilizers on this. One switch will control both rear and another switch will control both front, okay? I'll show you the switch when we get to it. Uh, you have uh, stairs that fold into the trailer. I know everything's dirty right now, but we're, we're still cleaning it because we're prepping right now. And um, the legs are adjustable, so you can adjust it to the terrain. You've got a, a power awning with an LED strip, outside speakers. We have TV hookup here. You've got signal out here plus uh, power if you wanted to put a TV out here. Um, a little kitchen area here with a refrigerator and whoops, a cooktop that pulls out. Now the cooktop has to be plugged in. Uh, the LP line has to be plugged in. So you got this, uh, this male side here and let's see where it, where it is here. For, oh, right here. Um, so you can see it right there, the female side. So um, that's where it connects to. That connects it to the LP system, okay? Okay. I'll get the door here, okay. Um, that's just the furnace vent, of course. Now, uh, you get two cranks with this. You have a, a three-quarter inch crank right there. That can be used on your power tongue jack. If it happens to fail, you can pull this plug out here and uh, use that crank or, or a drill with a socket on it, a, a power driver with a socket, uh, whichever you want to do, but it can be cranked manually. Now, the other one, I just want to show you here on the, the stabilizers, this is the other side. There's a, a shaft with a pin through it, all right? So if your stabilizers were to ever fail on you, you can put this other crank right here. You can see it's a cylinder with a slot cut in it. You put that over the shaft with the pin through it, you can actually crank the stabilizers up and down manually if you have to. Okay. Um, to, uh, 20 pound LP tanks, power tongue jack as we talked about. This is your deep cycle marine battery and there's your kill switch for your battery. You can actually shut it off there if you need to. Okay. Um, sprayer hose. Uh, this is your solar controller right here. That's, that sends uh, energy from the solar panel to your battery to you charge it up. It's prepped for an inverter if you ever wanted to add one. Okay. You have a, uh, let me see here. You have city water hook up here. It's the most common way to get water in the trailer. You just hook the hose on there, turn it on. Now if you're camping someplace that doesn't have city water, you can pre-fill your fresh water tank right here. Turn on the water pump and you can actually pump the water out of the tank. Everything will work as though you had city water. This right here is your black tank flush. So after you dump the black tank, which is toilet water and waste, you can hook the hose of the dump station on there, turn it on, and, sp and it'll spray it out. Make sure that the, the valve, uh, the, the dump valve is open on the black tank though, all right? Uh, to winterize your trailer, this is where you draw the antifreeze in right there. Um, to bypass your water heater for winterizing it, it is right here, right? These two valves here, okay? This is where the sprayer hooks up right here. And of course, these are that's your signal booster for your digital antenna and satellite and cable TV, okay? And these are the switches for your, your stabilizer jacks, front and rear, okay? The slide out you have is, you notice by the cables that it's a, that is an AccuSlide. There are different types of slide outs. This one's called an AccuSlide. Your power cord is 30 amp and 30 feet long. This is the water heater right here. So uh, it's empty right now because it's winterized. So it's bypassed and empty. This is where it, you empty it and this is the cap for it right here. Okay. Um, the switches to control it are inside. Always remember, when you get ready to camp, 
Always make sure that there's water in the water heater tank. The tank is directly behind the water heater here. Make sure there's water in there before you turn on the, the electric element or the, the, the heating valve, whatever you, or the heating burner, whatever you have. Um, never run it dry, okay? That's a dump valve, or a dump valve, I'm sorry, that's a dump hose. And this is a reducer to reduce your 30 amp plug down to a 20 if you want to plug it in at home. These are your dump valves down here, black and gray, okay. Um, you look it up, you can see it's, it's pre-wired it's pre for a backup camera if you wanted to add one. So keep that in mind. Also, while we're looking up, the manufacturer states you should inspect your roof every 60 days. So make sure you have somebody go out there and look around, make sure there's no cracking or separation at the sealant. Make sure there's no damage to the roofing materials or the roofing attachments by, let's say, low branches or um, um, road debris flying up there, okay? All right, so as you go in the door, this is your power converter right here. So this converts AC to DC power. Uh, you have regular AC circuit breakers here, 110, just like you have at home. And they're all labeled here. Then the power is converted to 12 volt DC. On this side, you got 12 volt fuses, and they're labeled, okay? Um, and uh, if the fuses were to blow, they'll actually light up. You can see them glowing through this tinted plastic here. And, last but not least, this is also a battery tender, so it'll always sense how much, as long as you're plugged in, it's going to sense how much energy your battery up front has and always keep it charged, okay? All right. This right here, what we're looking at is your carbon monoxide LP gas detector. Uh, it should always be green like it is. If not, get it serviced. Okay. All right, so to, uh, let's, let's start with lights here. Your water pump I told you about. So if you're pumping out of a fresh water tank because you don't have city water, then you can just turn the water pump on there. That water pump's also used for winterizing the trailer. So keep that in mind. To light your water heater on gas, right there. To light it on electric, right there. Never light it without water in it. Remember that. Okay. Um, your slide room right here, switch, your, your awning, your power awning, uh, is right there, you can see it go out and in. Never leave it out unattended, of course. Then your battery's charged, fresh water's empty, black is empty. You have only one black tank, so you just go with black tank one and so forth. Great. This graduates up, graduates up in one third increments. All right, so, <coughs> excuse me. TV, obviously. Um, now, this is your sound here. There's also a a remote for the TV here and a remote for the sound there. So basically this is AM FM radio. It also has Bluetooth so you can um, stream from your phone or your tablet. Uh, it's got a USB port so you can put all your music onto a USB stick and take it with you for example. Um, it has a HDMI that's an in in case you want to go into the system with a Blu-ray player or a portable Blu-ray player or something like that. And um, it has two speaker zones, one and two. One is inside the trailer, two is outside the trailer. Okay. Very, very uh, self-evident. Uh, microwave works like any other microwave. This is your furnace vent, and or furnace fan, and light. Light there. Fan, okay. Um, your range, let's see if he's got the gas on here. I'm not even sure, but we'll see. Yeah, right there. So basically this, this is the sparker. You turn it clockwise to spark it. You have three knobs here and three burners. You just saw me light one of them. This one here is for the oven. Uh, the oven is a little different than that. It's got a, all the way at the bottom in the back, it's got a pilot light. I mean, you might be able to see me spark it. Maybe. Anyway, you go to the oven knob, you go to the picture of the flame, and you depress it. You keep it depressed during the whole procedure. You light the, the uh, pilot light down here, and after it lights, you hold this for another 10 or 15 seconds to heat up the thermocouple. Then you would go to operating temperature, you're all set. But when you shut it off, the flame goes out, but so does the pilot light. So you re really, you have to relight the pilot light each time you use the oven. Uh, you have lights here, okay. Always travel with this cover closed. Okay. 
this is just a, a pop-up uh, you have plugs plus um plus some USB chargers there all right your your refrigerator is 12 volt DC so keep that in mind it runs on 12 volt DC always keep this latched over when you're traveling so the doors don't swing open and get dented all right bedroom pretty self-evident we're still cleaning up a bit here but you can see you also can pick up the the bed and there's uh, some storage underneath there like a foot locker right escape window you have TV hookups here and a and it's also got a, a backing place so you can mount a bracket there if you want to for a TV in here. All right. You can drop the table down. You can pull the legs off of it. Drop it down onto these cleats here. There's five of them. And then you fill in the space with the back with the, with the other um, cushions. And then you can turn this into a bed. All right. You have two bunks. Okay. This plug here is a GFCI. All the plugs in the trailer are wired through a GFCI, so always remember that. If you're using the, the socket, the receptacle outside and it pops, you're going to reset it in here. All right. Sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. You have a fan. The toilet is an RV toilet, so it has a flush pedal right here. Um, it's got antifreeze in it right now. Um, the black tank's directly below. So the thing is, you can't use it dry. By dry, I mean there's no water or chemical in the black tank. If you do that, it'll smell super terrible, and uh, it can get clogged up, right? So after you get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water. You come in here, you put a dose of chemical right in the bowl. Then you step on the pedal, and water will come flowing around. You stand on it long enough to put at least a gallon of water in there, along with the chemical, and you're all set to use it. But never use it dry. Okay. So let me look around a bit here, see what else we have. I forgot anything. All the AC comes out of the ceiling. The heat comes out of the floor. Okay. All your literature is in this packet here. Okay. All right. So, I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Um, please remember what I said about inspecting the roof every 60 days. Generally speaking, people don't inspect the roof enough. You're just looking for cracking and separation where, where any water could get in at the sealant you look for damage um, by roof by road debris or low branches that sort of thing it's an important thing to do um, also right now this is winterized so all the water has been purged from the system and replaced with antifreeze the water heater is bypassed by the valves in the back of the water heater it's bypassed and it's empty so you're all set for the winter time okay never run it without water in it always Make sure you fill it up before you turn it on. Thank you.